Hello, you're watching Apex Special Report brought to you by the Da Nang Radio and Television. Now let's start with some notable news. On September the 20th, at the government office, Deputy Prime Minister Phạm Bình Minh chaired the ninth meeting of the APEC 2017 National Committee to review the preparatory work for the APEC Economic Leaders Week taking place in Da Nang in the forthcoming November. Participating in the meeting were representatives of relevant ministries, central agencies and localities. Chairman of the Da Nang People's Committee, Huynh Đức Thơ, along with Vice Chairman of the City People's Committee, Nguyễn Ngọc Tuấn, and representatives of the Municipal Departments of Foreign Affairs, Cultural and Sports, Police and Office of the Da Nang People's Committee attended the meeting. Up to now, Da Nang has basically completed all facilities for this major event and the city is ready to receive the fact-finding missions of the APEC member economies in early October. Chairman Huynh Đức Thơ suggested that the APEC 2017 National Committee should give guidance on some specific plans to timely complete several construction items and ensure the quality of facilities and medical services for the APEC Economic Leaders Week. In his concluding speech, Deputy Prime Minister Phạm Bình Minh highly appreciated the efforts of the ministries, central agencies and localities in preparation for the APEC Economic Leaders Week. The Deputy Prime Minister required the APEC subcommittees, relevant ministries, central agencies and localities to urgently accomplish the final preparations for the APEC Economic Leaders Week before September the 30th, especially the facilities and logistics serving this crucial event. On September the 21st morning in Vinh City, Nghệ An province, took place the 11th APEC Senior Disaster Management Officials Forum. The meeting gathered about 200 delegates from the APEC member economies and international organizations. The 11th APEC Senior Disaster Management Officials Forum gives Vietnam a good opportunity to get access to the latest scientific and technological advances, at the same time calling for support of and establishing cooperation with other countries in the region and throughout the world. The meeting aims to make plans for applying the scientific and technological achievements in the natural disaster prevention in the APEC member economies, contributing to realizing the key tasks set out by the party and the state to improve the capacity of forecasting, warning, monitoring, enhancing the effective response to the natural disasters and climate change. During the two days of 21st and 22nd September, the forum focused on the issues of enhancing cooperation and technological innovation to effectively support the work of natural disaster prevention. The delegates also paid focus on sharing and exchanging the advanced technology application as well as enhancing the application of information and communications technology and interregional cooperation. The special attention was paid to the scientific and technological innovations in the natural disaster prevention, especially the coastal erosion, landslides, flash floods, as well as typhoon and tsunami. The Da Nang Department of Tourism has just held a press conference to launch Da Nang Smile campaign. Speaking at the conference, Vice Chairman of the City People's Committee Nguyễn Ngọc Tuấn made an appeal to all officials, salesmen, taxi drivers, receptionists, tour guides and Da Nang people to serve as the tourist ambassador, always with a warm smile, joining hands to make Da Nang a civilized, friendly and hospitable city. The campaign commences from September to December 2017 in order to form and develop the civil official civilized communication habit and behavior, as well as friendly and polite attitude, especially those working in the tourism and related sectors. This campaign will be widely disseminated to agencies, units, schools, and people of all social classes, contributing to creating a good impression on the delegates attending the APEC Economic Leaders Week 2017 and tourists coming to Da Nang City. In order to well serve the APEC Economic Leaders Week 2017 taking place in Da Nang in November, the preparatory work in all aspects have been urgently implemented by the local agencies and departments.
It can be said that power is one of the crucial factors for the smooth operation of the event. On September the 17th morning, under the operation of the Municipal Department of Industry and Trade, the Central Power Corporation, in collaboration with the Da Nang Power Company and relevant agencies, carried out a widespread power audit drill in the city. At 2 a.m., when the preparation is completed, the power outage drill at key areas and constructions serving the APEC 2017 in Da Nang began. The on-site power sources at key venues were ready to use when power outages occur. Accordingly, the power supply for APEC events will come from three sources including the national power grid, diesel generators, and an interruptible power supply UPS systems. Khi mà mất điện lưới quốc gia thì UPS sẽ làm việc If the national power system is failed, the UPS will work immediately to supply power to the substations. After from 30 to 40 seconds, the generators will be put into operation to ensure the sufficient power for venues taking place the event. The preparatory work has been ensured carefully at these venues. With nice scenarios setting up at venues taking place the events in the framework of APEC 2017, participants in the exercise coordinated effectively to solve the incidents, aiming at not only testing the on-site power supply system of the participating units to check if there are any incidents the monitoring board also wanted to record on the existing shortcomings of each unit, whereby learning from the experiences to have better performance in the next drill. Đến thời điểm hiện nay thì các đơn vị họ cũng đã đầu tư là tương đối tốt. So far, all the units have made well preparation. There are still some small incidents during the rehearsal. The units which are responsible for connecting the lighting system are required to check the UPS system and its capacity to ensure smooth power source for the event. These large-scale drills were conducted throughout the power system including transmissions and distribution networks. Accordingly, the transmission network was taken directly from the Avun Hydro Power Plant, which supplies electricity for the Ngu Hành Sơn and Hoa Khánh stations and transmit to the event venues. At the distribution networks, there are always stops being on duty and ready to coordinate to save any incident that may occur. The power outages mustn't be occurred at venues taking place at conferences and the press center. Regarding the other errors, if any incident happens, it will take a few seconds to transfer the power from the national power grid to the on-site sources. All the on-site power sources have met the requirements. The investors, as well as the resort and hotel owners, have prepared carefully for this. It's only more than one month left until the APEC Economic Leaders Week 2017. With this drill, the Central Power Corporation and Da Nang Power Company in particular, as well as the whole power sector in general, have showed their determination in creating the absolute reliability in order to ensure the good operation of power for this crucial event. In the last APEC discovery programs, we respectively introduced the highlights of the 21 APEC member economies. In the next programs, let's explore other interesting information about the APEC. In the early 1980s, the global trading system faced serious threats of economic recession. Many countries adopted trade protection instruments, especially the US and Japan. As a consequence, the trend of economic globalization was threatened, while regionalism strongly flourished. In January 1989, speaking to the Korean Business Association in Seoul, South Korea, Australian Prime Minister Pop Hock came up with the idea of establishing establishing a ministerial-level economic advisory forum in Asia-Pacific with the aim of coordinating with governments to develop the regional economy and support the multilateral trading system. Japan, Malaysia, South Korea, Thailand, the Philippines, Singapore, Brunei, Indonesia, New Zealand, Canada and the United States supported this initiative. 
On the 6th and the 7th of November 1989, Minister of Travel Abroad Mentioned Economies had a meeting in Canberra under the chairmanship of the Australian Minister of Foreign Affairs Gareth Evans to officially establish the Asia-Pacific Economic Corporation, APAC. APAC currently has 21 member economies, including the world's leading economies. APAC is now home to around 2.8 billion people and contributes 43 trillion USD to the world's GDP and 20 trillion USD to the international trade, equivalent to 39% of the world's population, 59% of world's GDP and 48% of global trade. That's the end of APEC Special Report broadcast to you by Danak Radio and Television. We would like to see you back in our next program. Thank you for tuning in and goodbye for now.